All right, check on the recording. All right. Um, hello, everybody. Jurassic Player here, and uh, today we are going to be talking about the 3DS themes sound effects. Um, first things first. Uh, about the sound effects. Uh, there are currently these known ones cursor launch folder close file uh frame zero frame one frame two and open lid um cursor plays when you're moving your cursor launch plays when you launch a game or something like that uh folder only plays when you're opening or uh, not opening when you're making or deleting a folder uh close only plays when you're exiting an application or a game Frame 0, frame 1, frame 2 only play during the transition of frame 0 to frame 1, frame 1 to frame 2, frame 2 to frame 0. Or however you have your frame changes set up. Um, this is of course on the bottom screen. When you're scrolling on your bottom screen, it changes the frame. And uh, there are only three frames, of course, it goes through those three. And then of course, open lid is uh, when you close your lid for a couple seconds at least. Um, you open it again and then it plays a sound effect. Um, there's limit. Uh, this limit is uh, 187,392 bytes. So uh, that's the entire, all of these together have to be underneath that limit. And uh, in order for you to import WAV files, because you're able to import WAV files directly um, using Usagi Theme Editor, you must get the third-party application stuff. Um, as you can see, this is my Usagi editor uh, folder, and there's a third-party folder inside, and inside that is a CTR wave converter folder. And you want to add these files, which you can find inside a leaked 3DS SDK. Um, once you get the SDK, uh, there it's uh, after you extract it, there's a file folder it's called uh, I think it's SDK and then it's uh, this which is like a zip file or something and then inside there is like the this folder another folder called tools uh, CTR SDK and then tools and then command line tools and inside that folder you'll find uh, a whole bunch of command line tools along with CTR wave converter 32 uh, dot exe which is also a command line tool and uh, these five DLLs. You will need these five DLLs for the wave converter to actually work, otherwise it will just die on you. Um, these five DLLs are soundfoundation.dll, soundfoundation.legacyformats.dll, soundfoundationctr.dll, tooldevelopmentkit.dll, and wavecodecctr.dll. Um, once you have all five of those, put it inside your CTR Wave 32 folder, inside the third, inside the third party folder, your Usagi uh, theme editor is ready for converting waves to uh, the correct format to add to your theme. Um, so, with that out of the way, we have actually getting the sound effects. Um, there are a couple of ways of getting sound effects. You can get them from uh, like the anime if you happen to find it and it happens to have some really good sound effects or something like that. You can take it from there. Um, if you can clean out the like background music, sometimes there's background music and stuff like that. You can remove that and use that. Otherwise, you can try uh, doing what I do, which is uh, if you find the game if they have a game for it, you can find that game. You can extract the contents from it um, and dump it all out into uh, files. So if you see here, I have this Pokemon Atari thing where I dumped out or extracted a couple of the things here and converted them all to something that I can play and listen to and see for and check for what I want. Uh, you can do that way. Um, sometimes it might not work and you still might not be able to find what you're looking for. 
um, whether because you don't know where it is or something else, there's always the option of also trying out to use an emulator and using that emulator to play the game and uh, getting the sound effects by recording with Audacity. Um, when that fails, uh, you have the option of possibly if your theme if your theme subject has it using OSTs, music files, any sort of music from the original animation or something like that. Um, I have one theme that does that a lot, uh, like every single sound effect from it is from the OST, and that's my Nisei Koi theme. Um, this Bakemon Guitar theme has one one sound effect, I think. Yeah, one sound effect that uh, I took from the OST, and then the rest of them are actually from the game. Uh, if I could get to that sound effect, which is over here. So, this is the actual song that I took it from. It's uh, from one of the Bakemon Guitar OSTs, and uh, the clip is towards the end, I believe. But uh, this is what it is on my uh, theme. And so it's somewhere here, close to the end. Er, not this one. <laughs> not even the right song. Not this song. Let me see. Uh, which one was it? It was, uh, here, Kitagi End. So, this one. Alright. So, to the end of this song, not that song, is the sound effect that I used. And so, taking from OSTs are kind of easy, um, depending on the song. Uh, sometimes it's not as easy, but uh, if there's a fairly clean uh, lead in and lead out, right here and right here, it's pretty quiet, um, you can get away with just cropping those out and uh, just using this as a sound effect. Um, sometimes you can also remove the music and uh, consider it noise. You use something like uh, noise reduction and then you, you have to select uh, the actual music or something like that and remove it. Just look up some noise removal sort of things and then try and remove the noise, the noise, quote unquote, um, from the sound effect and you might be able to get it that way. Um, if that fails, then the last option that I know of is to use sound effects from somewhere else, like um, a generic sound effect, uh, beeps, boops, bops, um, sword clashing sound effects sort of things, um, you know, those sort of really, really generic sound effects that everyone seems to have. It's like, oh, hey, it's another one of those sword clashing sound effects or another one of those uh, jelly gooping sound effects. Um, yeah, you can use those as well. But, uh, I think that's about it. Um, the only thing you should really keep in mind... Oh, wait, ooh, wait, quality, quality. Um, so, because there's a limit, sometimes what you got won't fit. And sometimes you don't want to cut out what you have. What you can do is lower the quality of a uh, sound effect. So... Right now, this is at a uh, 44,100 sampling rate, uh, hertz, as the sampling rate. Um, if you lower the sampling rate to about 22,050, there is an audible drop in quality. So you want to stay above that for the most part. Um, something like 26,000 uh, and up are decent numbers. Um, there's not that much of a quality drop. Um, at least not audible, at least to me anyways.
maybe if you're an audiophile then it'll be like this disgusting audio drop but for me at least it's satisfactory um but like uh you can reduce the sound effects of the minor sound effects so like a uh, cursor here that i have uh these this folder icon this folder make and delete sound effect that i have frame sound effects um sometimes even close uh stuff like that stuff that are not the prominent things it's like uh unlike my launch or my open lid which both of them are like end card or i catch sort of sounds where it's like And uh, those are like the eye-catching sort of things. They're the ones that I want to be prominent and high quality, as high as I can make them. And so that's why uh, I lowered all of the the entire set of sound effects. I lowered the quality on them so that they would all fit. But uh, I put them all at 28,000. And sometimes that'll work, sometimes it won't. Sometimes you will actually need to lower the quality of your lesser sound effects even more. Um, I would still try and stay above that 22,000, but uh, aside from that, it's kind of whatever goes. Um, whatever things you want to be higher quality sound effects, you can have them higher quality sound effects, so you can try to keep them all even. So everything at the same uh, quality, or I shouldn't be saying quality, because quality does not equal uh, sampling rate at all nothing whatsoever related but uh if you're using just a single file like if you start reducing the sampling rate then its quality will drop so that's why i'm saying it like that but um yeah that's about it um that's that's actually about it there's nothing more to talk about actually so thanks for watching um i hope you learned some tips and tricks um, I hope this helps you with your theme, and I hope you enjoy making your themes, because uh, sound effects really do add a little bit extra. It's uh, it's really great when people add sound effects to their themes. It's, uh, it's like that extra bit of candy you never thought you were going to get. And then some guy is just like, hey, here you go. Um, provided that the sound effects are at least decent quality. Sometimes... Sometimes quality is really shoddy and then, then things get a little weird Then they're like, hey, you just gave me a really funky looking candy. I don't, I'm not sure I like it, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy your next theme or any of the themes that you're working on.